OER Info is doing a video with Tim and Meredith, and they have a background in Reclaim hosting. We'll talk about this in a minute. We'll start with another question. I learned that you are working in workshops on digital identities. What are digital identities? What are managing, creating, creating digital identities all about? So digital identity is um, your presence online through social media or um, a website and really all about creating and managing that is just um, building out your presence through like Twitter or Facebook um, and really it's just giving yourself agency over what you produce and create on online and um, yeah. So this yeah, is yeah. what we all do in, in everyday life. Mm -hmm. So. Um, how did we learn about this, actually? So, uh, so we all do, but how did we learn how to do it? Yeah, uh, you know, I think it's really interesting, especially in this moment, uh, because it's one thing to, you know, have a presence online. It's another to take ownership of that presence. And I think a lot of people think about being online as something that just happens. I'm on Facebook or I'm on Twitter. And for us, the focus is really more about taking ownership of that, managing those spaces. And, you know, whether it be with Reclaim Hosting, managing your own space online as well and starting to take some agency and ownership over that. And learning how to do that, I think, is part of the process. And hopefully where we as a company and a people in a community can come together and share openly and, share and you know, work together to learn the best ways and to what extent you want to be to enable yourself to be online in these spaces. How does this connect to, to the open discussions? I think openness is really important here, right? Because so many of these spaces are closed, uh, and especially in the given landscape, uh, you know, you don't have as much control. It's a, it's a situation where in a lot of these spaces, you're giving up a lot of control and a lot of ownership in order to be a part of those spaces, um, giving up your privacy, giving up your own data uh, in order to do so. So we really see it as a way to, you know, not to steal the phrase, to reclaim your, your own space and, and gain that uh, ownership back um, by managing your own space and to be able to do that openly and to decide how much you publish openly on the web about yourself, about your research and your projects and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. What does digital literacy have to do with it? Yeah, I think it's really under, just understanding what what it is to have a digital identity and then turning around and putting that into your accounts or putting that online. Um, Mm -hmm. yeah. I'd also say, you know, it's interesting uh, in the moment, you know, there's a big topic around fake news, right? And what's real and what's not on the web. Uh, and it's very hard to evaluate what might be fake news, uh, what, you, what can you believe on the internet if you don't have a real understanding of how things get put on the web. How does the web work? And, you know, Mike Caulfield uh, has done a lot of work in this regard and a lot of research to think about really critically, what does it mean? You know, it's not like the old library research skills where it's just, oh, I know, you know, where to look in the indexes and to talk to research librarians. It's a whole new landscape with the web. Um, you've got folks who can, you know, use Photoshop and advanced editing tools to really trick and manipulate um, and deceive. And so to really understand well, when I'm looking at a website that might look like a newspaper website online, that doesn't mean that it's credible. And, and how do I know that without having an understanding, at least a, a rooted understanding, in how people create sites online and the tools that can be used to do that? My impression is that most people don't care if this happens in, in the open or in, in closed spaces. They're not even aware of this. Yeah. How do you, in your workshops, raise awareness? This probably is the first step or step zero. Yeah, I mean, you know, for us, I think it's it's about uh, sort of pulling back the veil of what looks to be. You know, it's very common for someone to say, well, this stuff is really, that, that's for the technology folks. That's for mm -hmm. the really techie folks. Mm -hmm. And we're really trying to lower that barrier for folks and really to understand that this is, doesn't have to be complicated. It's really not new, right? I mean, you know, web hosting and hosting on the web, I mean, it's been around since, you know, the, the mid-90s. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is not new technology per se, which is sort of a, the antithesis of other fancy startups who want to act like everything old is new again. And we're sort of saying, no, this is a rooted understanding in it, and it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be complicated. Um, 
Uh, and so I think the value there for somebody doing it in the open is having a community of learning to surround them and to enable them to work together to say, this is, this is the extent that I'm working in this. How are you doing it? How are you approaching these things to do it with your faculty, with your students especially? Uh, I think changing in, in the post Cambridge Analytica era, so are people more aware and interested in these questions? What's your impression? Yeah. I, I, I think they're hugely aware of it. You know, there's a huge movement now. I, I feel like it comes every year or every two years, right, where, where delete Facebook, and, and can you even delete Facebook, right, you know? Uh, and so there are real questions I think people have about their data. The GDPR uh, in Europe now, I think, is sort of leading the way towards uh, folks having a, a clearer understanding of, wow, this really, this is my data. Uh, how is it being used in, in ways that I do and don't control. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I think it's an opportunity. We really see it as an opportunity for folks to think about to what extent do I have control of my data or could I have control over my presence online uh, versus having to cede that control to third party, you know, third parties and advertising agencies and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. Add something. Yeah. Um, and I think it's bringing out a really important conversation on how your data is handled and how how much you actually own in a in a social media aspect like that. And I think that it, it became su a, such a catalyst in in this sort of era to bring out that conversation as well. Uh, you already mentioned reclaim hosting, and uh, my my question would simply be: Why does the world need one more hosting provider? That probably ten thousands out there, but you decided that there is uh, a need for one more. So Reclaim Hosting is um, educational based um, and we're really um, pushing um, and empowering learning environments and, um, and, and um, bringing about agency in that aspect where we um, provide the tools for, for people to learn about the world of web hosting. Um, and that's what makes us different. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. You know, and I would also say, you know, you won't find many of these other ho web hosts at conferences like mm -hmm. OER, uh, you know, open educational conferences. You know, that's not really the space that they're interested in. They want to upsell you into building out commercial websites. If anything, they may want to take some of your data as well, you know. So uh, it's really an industry that I think needs a partner and a provider that has a focus on giving that ownership back to the individual. You know, there's always, especially with this industry and, and the ways in which your domain names are kind of rented versus actually owned, there's always this tension there, but we want to give as much ownership and agency to the individual user and do that with open source products and tools and ways in which they can take their data, they can use it with us, they can take it with them, go to someone else if they need to. Uh, we're really just trying to be the, the kind of provider that has a focus on the individual like that. And how does, does Open reflect in your work, maybe even on, on a technical base? Well, yeah, Meredith actually has a, um, a presentation at the conference where I'm currently talking a little bit about the ways in which we uh, practice openness within our work. Do you want to speak a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah. yeah so we, we utilize um, several open source softwares within our company um, to help us work more efficiently and be able to grow in that aspect. Um, and we use tools like um, WordPress for our blogs to blog about what we are w currently working on and then pushing that out into our communities. And then we use um, a community forum called Discourse. Um, and that allows our community and users to ask questions or um, start conversations w among the group as well. Um, so we, we really encourage the open use like that. Thank you very much. Reclaim Video is a new project, product, what is it all about? Well, Reclaim Video is actually a pioneer in the space. We're an 80s VHS store in Fredericksburg, Virginia. I actually uh, brought some tapes here uh, with me. We're a leader in the industry. We're looking uh, not just at VHS, but also Betamax, Laserdisc. Oh. Uh, we're actually even hoping to roll out the Atari 5200 uh, and make these available for rent for I folks. I've never heard about that. No. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, the Atari 5200 uh, is a video game console. It's just come out. Uh, it's very exciting. Uh, it's going to supersede the 2400. Uh, Does it have Pong on it? Oh, it's not just got Pong. You've got Mrs. Pac-Man. It's got a great controller setup uh, and everything. It's supposed to be a huge hit.
Okay, so uh, where can we learn more about it? Uh, ReclaimVideo.com. You yeah. can check us out. We're accepting applications for membership. Uh, you yeah. can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Fredericksburg, Virginia. Ah, okay, I'll do that. Right. Thank you, and uh, I'll be interested in learning more about Reclaim Video. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Bye.